muscle. That's what we're talking about today, health accumulators. Muscle it is a necessity. You know, I constantly see patients who are underperforming in life and literally needlessly suffering from dysfunction, from their, their body just not being able to do what they want to be able to do. And the culprit is a lack of muscle tissue a lack of muscle tissue and this this need not be you know can building muscle cure every element you know everything you're experiencing just go away because you build muscle no it will not just go away but i will tell you without the act of building muscle your body is literally going to war day after day into this toxic world and you know trying to stave off dysfunction and keep you, you know, performing peak level, just prime for each day, really without its number one ally. And that is skeletal muscle tissue. You know those things, those, those, those pythons you can have in your arms, those, those quadriceps, those butt muscles, it needs those. Muscle building literally has a direct signal, is a direct signal to your being saying that you desire to live. And you desire to function at a level that is beyond what your current capacity to function is. That is what happens when you build muscle. That is a signal you're giving to your being. Because the muscle building process is literally exactly 180 degrees in the opposite direction of death, of disease, of dysfunction in your being. When our, when our muscles are burning, I know not everybody wants to feel that burn, but when our muscles are burning, when there's that ache in them from a, you know, a good workout, day after, a couple days after, think about this, your blood sugar is lowering. Your insulin signal is becoming better. Your cortisol rhythm is recalibrating. Your circadian rhythm is recalibrating. Your bones, they're becoming denser. Your brain tissue is becoming younger. Your genes, they're signaling for life they're signaling for health abundance. They're signaling for, for longevity and capacity. Who doesn't want that, right? You know, muscle, we talk about it often, but muscle is the number one biological marker of aging. And that means that the more active, metabolically active muscle tissue you have on your body, the less likely you are of dying from anything. 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 The more muscle mass you have on your body, the less likely you are to die of anything. So, you know, muscles are plastic. Like we talk about brain plasticity. Well, muscles are even more plastic. They're, they have even greater opportunity to adapt than our brain does. You know, muscle will adapt to what you do. If you use muscle, your muscle will make your body more capable. If you do not use your muscles, you know, if you do not put stress to them, if you just sit on the couch, if you just ride in the car, your muscles will atrophy. And you will face, literally you'll walk into each decade with less capacity to do life than you did the decade before because of atrophy or sarcopenia, like we like to say it, if you're reading you know, your me medical textbooks. You don't want that. And if you're watching this, there is no way you want it because you're a health accumulator. And people that accumulate health, there's, there's no way that you can't be accumulating muscle in that process. And, and it doesn't take you know four hours a day, five hours a day, you just gotta be working out all the time. Literally, even a single bout one single time, one time of going out and just hitting, hitting the gym hard, doing a good, you know, a brisk walk, some sprints, some air squats, just a single bout of intense exercise can change the way your genes are regulated and, and can upregulate um, genes that code for enzymes that allow your body to create energy more efficiently. I mean, who doesn't want more energy? I, there's, there's rarely a patient that comes in that I see who does not want more energy to some degree. And you can produce more energy in your body. You can increase the capacity to produce more energy by exercising. And as, as you consistently put in these inputs of resistance into your body, your capacity for energy production is just going up, 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 up. And who doesn't want that? More energy? I'll take it. Double, double time me, please. And if you don't like how, you, if you don't like how your genes are currently expressing themselves, Guess what? The quickest way to help your body say like, man, I just wish my parents would have given me a different set of genes. My heredity, oh my goodness. Well, the quickest way to help yourself out, the, and I would say you know, probably literally the most efficient way, is to go and work out. Get a workout routine going. 
start influencing your genetics, your genetic expression, your epigenetics by working out on a regular basis, by putting stress, intelligent stress, conscious stress applied to your muscle tissue will change your genetic makeup. I know it's, you know, it's totally wild. It's crazy to consider, but uh, literally a single bout of exercise, it, it will affect your methylation pathways. It'll affect your detoxification pathways. It'll affect your glucose metabolism, as well as your genes. And we're talking genes associated with uh, bone turnover, with memory, with creativity, with, with, with uh, not only um, short-term memory, but the uh, retention and, and creation of memory. All of this just from exercising, just from you know having a regular routine where you go out 20 minutes on a regular basis and you put stress to your body. And you're, because you're literally, you're not just walking, you know, we're not just going for a run, going for a bike ride, lifting some weights, you know, doing a set of pushups to failure, uh, having a, you know, having a workout party. I hope we have a workout party. Workout parties are awesome. You know, you're not just going for a grueling hike or showing up at that 5 a.m. CrossFit class. You're not just doing those things. You are literally, when you do these things, you're literally rewriting how your genes will express themselves. Do you not want this? I want this. I want this for my family, for my kids. To rewrite how our genes express ourselves so that longevity, so that um, vitality and vigor, those are the main components of our genetic expression. You're, you're literally, when you do these things, when you show up for that 5 a.m. CrossFit class, when you show up for that Zumba class, when you show up for that, that grueling hike, you're literally creating a more efficient self, a more capable self. And if you're doing this before you have children, you know, you are literally giving your offspring better tools for survival, for, um, uh, you know, peaking in life, for cognitive function, uh, you know, and that goes from the brain all the way down to like their, their calf muscles, all of it you're supporting if you are regularly ingesting and putting time and effort into physical activity. All right. I hope you are inspired please let me know to find an activity that gets your heart rate up, that gets your respiration rate up, that get your, you know, gets your muscles burning, gets, gets, some, gets some fatigue in your being, makes you sore the next day. I hope you're inspired to do it. And you, you use that inspiration to go and, and make action. Because uh, your opportunity, you know, your opportunity is right now. The best time to start working out and feeding positive gene expression into your being, into my being, was yesterday. Like we want to do, have already done it. So if we haven't already been doing it, uh, let's just start today. Let's, let's, let's put one step in front of the other and let's start making this happen. All right, I'm Dr. Matt. Please like, please share, get your friends, get your buddies, get your family on board the health accumulation train. Because like I said before, we're not stopping. We are, uh, we're building muscle. We're becoming more youthful. We're, uh, we're resurrecting these bodies and uh, we're creating gene expression that is for uh, life, longevity, and um, more, more just general life efficiency. All right, talk to you guys next week.